Welcome back to The Independence. Crony capitalism is what happens when big government and big business decide to have a nice dinner with your tax dollars and then head home in one car. Huh? Crony laws don't just keep the well-connected rich. They hurt the little guy. Like this young lady who couldn't cut through Illinois red tape. She had to move to Texas. Sarah is from Chicago and founded Brew Hub, a mobile coffee and tea business last summer. But the city of Chicago refused to issue her a permit. After rounds of petitions and months of meetings, Sarah got nowhere with city officials. And so she decided to move south to Austin, Texas, where entrepreneurs like her are flourishing. In Austin, I was sitting in a little room filling out paperwork, and we just filled it all out, turned it in, gave him some money, and we had a permit. All right, John Tillman joins us. He's the CEO of the Illinois Policy Institute, which is a great organization. You guys are fighting cronyism. So explain how cronyism affected that poor young woman who had this great idea and was basically run out of town for greener pastures where they welcome new ideas. Right. You know, so many people, Kennedy, are already going to Texas. You know, a lot. Of, it's one of the states that we have out-migration to. A lot of people are abandoning Illinois to go down to Texas. So we started NoCronies.com because we want to stop that. And uh, she is just one of many people that are suffering from this. I wish she was the exception. She's not. There's a woman who started a cupcake food truck uh, to combat cancer. Her sister had cancer. It's in remission now, thankfully. Uh, the city starts battling her, shutting her down. She sued the city, and you know what they're doing? They're going after her sister, who's not even involved in the business, lives 50 miles away. They're subpoenaing her. They're asking for her emails and yeah. records. This is what a city like Chicago does to people who are trying to create jobs and provide good services to people. And we've seen it in New York. We've seen it in Los Angeles, places like Portland, all across the country. You know, you have these entrepreneurs who don't have a lot of money, but they use food trucks as a way of going to their customers, finding them, and it does breed a lot of Activity, but it's the cronyism that shuts it down. Right, the restaurant cartel, the cab uh, cartel, all, yeah. all of these sorts of things. Uh, we had a big fight with Uber. Uh, a bill uh, passed out of the legislature to try to restrict Uber in the city of Chicago, to, and millions of dollars were put in by the, the taxi cartel to try to protect their monopoly, essentially. And the only reason that bill got vetoed by then uh, Governor Quinn, still governor for now because he just lost an election, yeah, uh, but he only uh, vetoed that for electoral purposes uh, because it was such an outrage uh, by people who love Uber. And, you know, the, the, the cabbie cartel is, I think, a terrible thing, but what's, it's, what's interesting about it is it's bad for the cab drivers. Uh, a lot of cab drivers have become Uber drivers. I heard a story about one recently saying how much they love their job now. They have total flexibility yeah. and control. They don't have to work 12-hour days. There's just lots of examples like that. And that's kind of on the smaller business side. They're also driving out pedicabs, uh, horse-drawn carriages. These are all people that are living on the edge and trying to move up and get started with a, a low investment. Yeah. But then they, on the other hand, uh, dole out taxpayer money to chosen companies for, uh, that are for the powerful and connected. All of that has to stop, and that's why we're doing no cronies. And, you know, we, we talk about this because Small Business Saturday comes a day after Black Friday, and a lot of people usually go to the big box stores, they mm -hmm. go to the Kmarts and the Targets and the Costcos, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's really the little guys who maybe need a little bit of boost and a little bit of support in their communities. Let me ask you about Governor-elect Bruce Rauner. Sure. Do you think things are going to change in Illinois? I mean, it's a pretty corrupt place. Even the president was joking about voter fraud in his home state <laughs> right. recently. Well, we have a long tradition of voter fraud, and what's amazing, it shows how big his victory really is. He won by six points, and he won by making a very different case. He wants to champion free enterprise. He wants to champion people like Sarah Travis, you just saw there, or the uh, cupcake food truck owner, owner uh, Laura. And he's been a longtime pro-free market guy. He's got a huge uh, road ahead of him. He's got a Democrat-controlled legislature. So it's, he doesn't have a, a free reign. He's going to have to negotiate a little bit. But his instinct is to champion entrepreneurs investors who want to work with them and the workers they want to hire to serve people well by starting a business like these folks want to do. And you say Illinois is, is ripe for creativity. It's, it's ripe for people to fight cronyism. Yeah. And all the elements are there. Is that you just being an optimist? I mean, people hear about the gun violence in Chicago, and it seems like kind of a crazy, crazy, no, crazy place to go. Chicago has such a young, vibrant uh, community, uh, the Lincoln Park area, Lakeview, uh, all over the uh, whole downtown area. And that's the kind of people that are starting businesses. People in their 20s and early 30s are starting these businesses. And they just want to be left alone to pursue their passion and pursue their dream, whether they're an artist, uh, somebody who wants to bake or cook food and make the best food you ever got out of a food truck. That's who's doing this. So I think yeah. what's interesting about it is there's a great appetite of it for it in the city of Chicago. And I think it's one of the reasons Bruce Rauner outperformed Republicans in the city of Chicago. He got a big vote total in some of those downtown wards, actually won one of the wards with 50 percent of the vote. And I think that's a sign of things to come. It's really interesting. I mean, people are certainly making choices for themselves. That's why this show exists, because there's a big independent 
independent spirit in politics. Mm -hmm. it, you know, people are not necessarily beholden to parties. And I, I'm sure you don't trust the guy just because he's a Republican. But it has to be a nice change from the over-controlling status. Well, the key part about this is it doesn't matter if you're a lefty or a righty or a Republican or a Democrat. Starting a business and serving people well is where yeah. all the source revenue comes to fund charities, to fund the government work we all agree should be done. Yeah. And it starts with a business. And that's why I'm glad we have a business champion in there. All right. And here you go. Yes. Hashtag no cronies. Go. Woo! No cronies. All right. There it is. Coming up next, it's been 25 years since the Berlin Wall fell, marking the triumph of capitalism over communism and the freedom for Germans to drink fancy beer in whatever part of Berlin they want. Stay with us.